While some people are out soaking up the sun or taking a summer stroll, staff from the Upper Thames River Conservation Authority are busy searching for eggs. Turtle eggs, that is. Mid-June is the height of turtle nesting season and species at risk biologists and technicians are working hard to save spiny soft-shell turtle eggs. London's resident turtle expert Scott Gillingwater says the interaction between turtles and humans and the natural landscape means spiny softshell turtle populations are declining. Uh, you know, as with any wildlife species, they're part of the ecosystem. However, uh, softshell turtles in particular are declining at a very rapid rate. So we're very concerned about their long-term viability in this area. So we're looking at ways to, uh, I guess, limit their losses uh, and, and improve the hatch success rate of the eggs. These eggs are often left open to the elements, with natural predators prowling and humans accidentally stumbling upon their nests. Gillingwater says that's why they scoop up the eggs and hatch them at their research centre. Uh, unfortunately, because of, uh, you know, human interaction with uh, the landscape, with the animals, uh, some are caught in fishing line, uh, other areas the habitat is lost, uh, and in other areas people even uh, kill them directly. Um, however, uh, what we're seeing at a lot of the sites now is that we have invasive plant species overtaking the areas where the turtles like to lay eggs, and because of that, uh, the eggs aren't able to develop. We will incubate them approximately like 82 um, degrees Fahrenheit and we all check them every day for um, moisture in, um, we use actually a material called vermiculite, which is uh, used commonly used in, with, for like planting indoor plants, um, just because it holds the moisture. Um, so we'll, we'll weigh them every day, check to see if we need to add some more water to them. Um, yeah, it's like a kid. <laughs> check them every day. Um, and then we'll check them closer to when they're supposed to be hatching as well, to see if there's any heads poking out, and, once the nest is ready to go out, we'll bring them up to the river. The spiny softshell turtle is considered the fastest turtle in North America, so catching one can be a challenge. But when conservation staff get their hands on one, they tag it, much like you would a dog or a cat, so they can follow it through its explorations. You can see quite a bit different from any of our other turtle species. It has that smooth, flat shell. It kind of feels like the upper part of your ear if you feel the back of the shell, or like a leather belt. Uh, another adaptation is that long snorkel snout. It allows the turtle to bury into the mud, extend its long neck, and just the tip of its nose extends past the water surface in order to breathe. So, uh, very well adapted to uh, having a soft shell and finding other ways to protect itself. For sure. So how old would this turtle be, do you think? It's hard to say. Um, because she was uh, up at one of her nesting sites, that means she's likely at least uh, 15 to 18 years old. Uh, could well be into her 30s or 40s or more. Uh, she's relatively small, so I, I would assume that she's you know, likely between uh, you know, 20, 30 years old. Obviously we're on the Thames River, but I can't tell you where we're going or where we've come from, because for turtles like these, there are many risks, some of them natural, some of them human. You may see plenty of spiny softshell turtles along the shore of the Thames, but these animals are a threatened species. That's why Londoners are asked to give them space and respect their habitat, but also to let the Upper Thames River Conservation Authority know when they see one. Well, any turtles in Ontario, uh, especially turtles at risk, uh, we like to get uh, observations of them and sightings sent in. Uh, you know, maybe snapping turtles and painted turtles we see a little bit more commonly. We're not looking for as many of those reports, but uh, any of the softshell turtle, northern map turtle, Blanding's turtle, spotted turtle, all these very at-risk turtle species, uh, we want people to provide us with those sightings. It, it allows us to better understand where the animals are and what we can do to protect them. Like Avery Moore, BlackburnNews.com. Yeah, maybe I guess you can uh, through it, but still.